All right, folks, Steve Tobin, Chicago Air News. What we're talking about today is, is Bolton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Um, she's the mayor, she's a trustee, and she's also the supervisor of the township. And she has embroiled right now, there's some federal lawsuits, there's some investigations going on for some fraud about some party she had, $80,000 for a party. She appears to be a classic case, a classic example of consolidation of power, thinking that you're above the power, thinking you're above the rule of law, and thinking that she can do anything and everything that she wants to do no matter what. So hubris is how I would describe the attitude that she has. And of course, she feels like she's being attacked on all angles. So she's going ahead and doubling, tripling down on everything here. So they did try to have the uh, board meeting in Thornton Township on Tuesday and had to get cut short because they didn't have a quorum. They didn't have a quorum meeting that happened to fill the trustees to actually move forward with. And here's a quote from uh, Mayor Henyard says, thank you guys for coming out this evening. We are waiting to see if we have a quorum and uh, without enough board members to proceed to Henyard's great frustration. The meeting uh, ended before it even began. So our job is to come, pay the bills, pass ordinances, and make sure you understand it is that what we have been doing for an entire month. Unfortunately, we will be court because this cannot and will not go on. And your landlord, Canada Hall, is feeling the same exasperation. This is being reported by ABC7. Uh, Liz Nagy is a reporter I've uh, worked with in the past. She says, I just came here because I'm at wit's end and I fear I'm going to go into foreclosure soon if I can't get this matter handled. Hull says, Henyard and Kamal Woods, the man with whom she lives with, have not paid a $24 a month rent an adult and home they lease uh, from her for uh, September and October, and they only paid $2,200 in August. So she was going to tell the judge, this whole lady, the landlord, was that uh, she owed me $5,000 in behind rent, um, but you know, neither had nor the Woods showed up for court on Tuesday for the house aid to get things or for the eviction. Uh, so the court documents for the ABC News have shown yeah, the county sheriff deputies have tried and failed to serve Henyard and Woods with eviction papers earlier this month, most at home, home and Dalton Village Hall. So think about that for a second, people. Nobody knows where to find her, right? She's the mayor, trustee, you know, president of the township. I am, you know, this is not this is not some person who you don't know where she's at, and the sheriff still can't they can't serve her either at the village hall where we know that she works. Or anywhere at the home or anything so she she knows how to play the system she knows how to game the system and she's not paying a rent she's not paying a rent i mean this 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 is a county democratic machine politics uh pretty much at their worst although it could certainly happen everywhere i'm sure it does happen everywhere else but you know my expertise is here in illinois and chicago where i've been reporting things for about 45 years now and so when Hull, who is the um the owner of the house where henyard and her man boyfriend uh, stay at apparently she showed up at the home saturday for maintenance she was locked out and the locks on the garage door and had been altered and this is her quote i'm just bewildered the same thing she's doing to the trustees changing locks on offices it's the same thing she does to everyone it's not just them this type of behavior has to stop it's not the way a public servant should be um, according to the story on abc abc7 has reached out to head year's attorney for comment but they're not immediately hear back so again, people, Tiffany Henyard is um, obviously uh, got something to hide and uh, pulling a lot of shenanigans here. And it's just a matter of time before the investigation gets to her and the light of day is shown on her. And she's probably going to wind up getting kicked out. And who knows, she may wind up filing some, you know, feeling some criminal charges against her. And it's all because of hubris. You know, I'm the mayor. I'm the youngest person. I'm the only woman to hold this position. So she really has a sense of entitlement and that sense of entitlement um, can really be uh, i'm not sure what the word is but really can be crystallized in that she is actually threatening to jail her opponents she's saying that she's going to jail people who criticize her and people who are fighting back again pushing back against her from letting her do the things that she is doing and that she wants to continue to do which is abuse her power and take people's money and and get away with it so she's being questioned on it the press is questioning on her there are federal investigations and she's going ahead and announcing a re-election bid so she's doubling tripling quadrupling down and uh you know we're going to see where this goes people but um this definitely you know, this is what happens when you let politicians have too much power she's the mayor of bolton she should have been forced to resign her trustee position with thornton township as well as her supervisor position with thornton township you shouldn't be able to hold more than one position within a township, within a town, within a county, 
Otherwise, you're going to get too big for your britches and you're going to have, you know, Tiffany Hanyards running around with their little fiefdoms, getting away with everything they possibly can. And you know that people, as well as the media, are investigating her and seeing what's going on. She's not paying her bills. She's changing locks. She's threatening to jail opponents. I mean, she's completely gone off the rails here, obviously. So we will see what happens. So once again, Steve Tobin reporting for Chicago Area News.